Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. Um so the the other side of this whole not planning what I'm going to talk about kind of thing is that I'm in a situation like I'm in today where today is probably my best opportunity between now and the next vlog, well, this vlog, <laughs> coming up <laughs> um, to record this and I'm not 100% sure what I want to talk about. Um, so just the second that's kind of come into my head is why don't I talk about my January 2020? <laughs> Because when this goes up, it will already be the start of February, but I am currently on the second to last day of January filming this. And January feels like it's, an, like, it's one of those situations where I'm kind of like, oh my god, it's already the end of January. Seriously. Um, and on the other hand, it's kind of like, wow. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's the end of January. <laughs> <laughs> So it feels like no time at all has passed and like lots of time has passed um, all at the same time. So I'm going to kind of go through, I don't know, maybe I'll do this again next month, maybe I won't, but because so much has been kind of going on with uh, with Latin, like since, since starting to use K KDP at the end of, or the beginning of December, so much has kind of gone on and, and I've done so much and I've been kind of active with a lot of different things. <laughs> kind of like oh, okay maybe I'll sort of stop and reflect on on my January um so my January started with me working I was working um New Year's Day and that was by by choice um because I wanted to have particular days off so I was like like mm, you, I will work New Year's Day I'm perfectly happy working New Year's Day I've worked New Year's Day before it doesn't bother me at all um I'm I, I always find it's more important over the Christmas to be spending time with my family and my brother's because they don't live locally, uh, will only tend to come down for a short amount of time. Um, more so this year, um, because my older brother um, and his missus had a baby girl um, six months ago. <laughs> so there is a tiny, squishy little baby there this Christmas. Um, but they do live quite a, quite a way away. And, you know, I, I made sure that my days off over Christmas coincided with them being around. Um, but because of that, I worked New Year's Day, so I started the year off the way I intended to continue it, working. <laughs> it's a way of starting the year. Um, at any rate, um, and the next sort of big thing I did um, within the first week or so, I think, ish of January was obviously, as I've mentioned so many times already, uh, was to move Echo from Lily onto Kindle Direct. Um, that was that was three long hard working days, and not all consecutive, but three long hard working days of of transferring Echo from from one platform to the other. Uh, subsequently, I've also uh, done the manuscript for the paperback for Echo as well. So look forward to seeing that sometime soon. Um, but obviously I've done videos and videos and videos of all the writing stuff <laughs> that you guys know about. Um, so I don't want to spend too long kind of dwelling on that. Um, January is also, things are still moving fairly positively um, in, in terms of books getting out there on Kim Dreck. Um, the free book promotion for Echo was about as successful as the pre free book promotion was for Hyena Boy. I mentioned this last week, I'm going to mention it again. I have every plans on every single time I, I restart a KDP, um, sorry, a Kindle Select cycle um, to do a free book promotion for whatever book it is that is starting this cycle. All the books are going to be on different cycles, so they're all going to be slightly different times, but I will do my best to make sure you guys are aware of when there are going to be free book promotions so that, you know, if you want to pick, if, if you want to take a chance, uh, but you don't want to spend any money on taking a chance, absolutely pick up a free copy of the book. You know, I would rather the book was out there being read and then generate, generating its own sort of publicity because people like it, because they've read it, 
then you know it not being out there being read and nobody knowing about it and nobody you know spreading my name anywhere because nobody has heard of me or of my books um so you know if, if that means giving out free copies every couple of months just to sort of in kick start um people's interest uh, then that's absolutely what I'm going to keep doing that's that's my intention going forward and that's getting sidetracked from January uh the, the point here being you know the, the the free book promotion for for Echo was like one book less than the free book promotion for High in the Boy had been so it's like the same ballpark really really is and it you know it, it, it's, it's exciting exciting for somebody who spent so long not having copies of their books out there even though they've been available for people um, not not having them in like the hands of people, even if it's like digitally, um, it, it's exciting. It's 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 progress, and even though it's not necessarily progress at the speed that I would like it to be, it's still progress. Um, and as I mentioned before, I had a really great start to the year in terms of Kindle page reads. Um, and the end of the year, I'm, I'm starting to get page reads again. There was a little bit of a gap in the middle, which <laughs> which worried me a bit. But it's January. I've, I've had like all month. All month. I have to keep reminding myself that it is January. Um, as I've mentioned before, I work in the fast food industry, um, and I know because I've been working for this this company for like nine years. January is dead, like not like not like completely dead, but January because people have probably overspent over the Christmas, um, all this that and the other. That people don't spend as much in January as they do at other times during the year. So like all month I've been having to go, it's January, it's fine, it's January, it's fine, it's January, we'll just get through January um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see how things go from, from there. I've got to think about January in this talk, completely different vein to every other month of the year. <laughs> um, just because I, I know, I know from working in an industry where you feel January, you know what January is, um, that's so, but it, it's really hard when you have like, pretty good momentum sort of just pre prior to, to Christmas and then just at the very start of January sort of coming off of that momentum to then have to be sat there twiddling your thumbs because it's January. <laughs> yeah, re releasing a whole lot of stuff in January is probably not, or oh, end of December, January is probably not the best way of sort of planning it out. But at the same time, I wanted them, you know, wanted the books to be in the place where they were going to get the most traffic and you know KDP seems to be the best place for that so I'm not regretting the move I'm just January <laughs> it's January um so what else have I done this January um so the lovely Jade and I have started watching things together now we're not we don't live close enough to each other to be physically watching the same thing in the same place together how we kind of get around that is we all uh, we will stream something um, at the same time, um, either using iPlayer or using uh, YouTube, depending on what it is that we are actually watching. Um, quite a lot of the time it does end up being iPlayer because Jade has uh, a big thing about BBC programs, um, which is fine. Um, I, I, most of the choices, you know, are good and make sense. So what have we been watching this month? Um, it started off with Jonathan Creek. <laughs> is, it, is it a surprise that I like Jonathan Creek? I mean, I um, don't remember exactly, exactly like what, how we ended up watching Jonathan Creek, but I'm pretty sure she was like, hey, Han, can we watch something together? Do you want to watch some Jonathan Creek with me? And I was like, yes, absolutely. It's been ages since I've watched any Jonathan Creek. What well, episode do you want to watch? <laughs> um, so I've mostly been watching episodes with her, um, but because she is currently on a limited streaming, uh, a limited streaming, a limited uh, data usage for her internet, um, I did actually end up I'm sorry, Jade, but I did actually end up watching um, a lot of the episodes again. I, I won't mind watching them again with her uh, when it comes to it, when she's she, cause she's going on to Unlimited, finally. <laughs> like, sometime in the next couple of months, she's going on to Unlimited, finally, and then we can just watch all the all the things that we want to watch together all the time. Uh, well, not going to be quite like that, because I've got like a lot of my own stuff that I like to sort of keep on top of as well but as much as possible I'm going to be able or in a much better position to like watch whatever with her because she's not going to be having to watch her data all the time and you know 
stressful for her, it's stressful for me because I don't want to be doing anything that kind of overloads her data, so I can't wait for her to go on on to Unlimited so we can then start enjoying programming together um, more frequently. Um, yeah, I did start watching uh, the Jonathan Creek episode. Like, um, I, I, the, the major episodes that I'm avoiding with Jonathan Creek um, at the moment are the ones which involve certain things, scenes or images that play into my my worst fear and I'm I don't want to watch those ones on my own so I, I, I they're kind of ones I can watch but I'd rather watch with someone so that I'm sort of not deliberately saving them for her but I kind of am saving them for her unfortunately because it was one of the latest series ones which I wasn't as familiar with I did end up watching one of the ones which I should have waited to watch with her because there are entire scenes in that one where I'm like head on yeah, can't watch whatsoever. <laughs> and maybe I'm a little bit of a wimp, but I don't care. Like my worst fear is one of the things which I will. I don't want to not be afraid of it because the idea of having to go through the process of becoming desensitized to it is terrifying in and of itself. So <laughs> I'm never going to tell you guys what my worst fear is. I, I promise you that it's not. No. Um. So the other thing that we've been watching together, and this has been the last week, uh, we started watching Round the Twist. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, it is a Australian TV show that was uh, that was on. She says the BBC. I don't remember which kids channel or which kids hour channel. You know, whether it was CBBC or um, CITV, because I was more of a CITV person, she was more of a CBC's person, um, although I did kind of watch both a lot and I couldn't remember which one Round the Twist had originally been with, um, but I did remember it from my childhood and actually, I, I keep saying it was last year, I think it was actually the year before, because it was the last year that I was living um, in the old flat, so before the move, so I think it's the year before. Um, one of the YouTubers that I that I did watch, um, I, I no longer uh, am subscribed to, um, just because the, the content became sort of a lot more inconsistent and I was enjoying a lot less of it and I was kind of like, okay, it's, I, I like the guy, I like the personality, but um, I'm, I'm sort of losing interest in, in this, I want to sort of focus on um, you know things that I am more interested in, but one of like, the final videos that I watched from him was doing sort of a retrospective um, on the series which reminded me that it existed and uh, he kind of let me know that legally you can watch the entire uh, Rama Twist on YouTube that the, the I think it's the company itself have uploaded it to, to YouTube so you can watch it on YouTube you know completely legally um, without it sort of like flagging in copyrights or anything like that which is brilliant it's absolutely awesome if you've never watched Rama Twist watch it <laughs> Um, I mean, I knew like various episodes, like well, various clips and various. Clips. It's been a long time since I've seen any of it, so like only one episode had like really, really stuck in my mind, and the rest of it was kind of like, oh, that's sort of familiar, that's sort of familiar, that's sort of familiar. And I remember watching this um, this season one episode for the first time, um, or the first time that I could remember um, when when I was sort of binging it a couple of years ago. And I just laughed the entire way through. It was like one of the funniest episodes I, of anything I think I've ever seen. And it was just, it was brilliantly done. Uh, so I'm looking forward to watching that again with Jade <laughs> at some point soon. <laughs> if we sort of keep with keep with Mama Twist. I mean, she she quite likes watching um watching uh, like the old kids uh, shows and old old kids programming. Um, just because like um. One of her interests as a writer is, is as a children's author, um, so she likes sort of watching all those those sorts of things to sort of help her give her ideas for for various stories. Um, her, her main focus, of course, is the audio drama stuff. If you guys don't know, if I've not told you guys before, she's mostly focused on like audio drama stuff. Um, but she she does have like um, this this interest in in children's writing, and she has. Um, attempted to write, to, to write quite a quite a number of children's books and she really needs to get on to getting that back catalogue out there um, but she is more focused on the audio stuff at the moment which you know if that's where her focus is that's where she should focus uh, I can't say much that's what's going on with the narration stuff at the moment I should probably tidy up and re-release the the other books that I have now you know archived 
Um, but because I'm so focused on the never rating stuff, I'd rather you know work on getting those out there and then worry about the rest of it later. Um, so I, I can't exactly turn around and go, you're not doing it right. Uh, you, you could just be releasing all these kids books that you've been you know attempting to write when I'm you know I perfectly understand that if you're focused on something, that's the most important thing um, as, as a writer is, is to sort of to, to be focused and to, to focus on, on that, that kind of thing. But um, the point of this being because of the, the, the children author side of her, quite often we will watch uh, things that we used to watch when we were kids and reminisce and just have fun. <laughs> he wants to be an adult anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that's kind of how my January has sort of been. Um, the one final thing that I can sort of comment on about my January is me and one of my other friends um, went to see a play. It's last night to when this is being uh, to when this is being filmed. Um, basically, a couple of weeks ago, she hit up our friend group chat um, with hey. There, you know, there's, there's there's this play going on here, and I've been able to acquire some cheap tickets. Um, anybody want to go with me? And I was like, yes, I don't care what it is, I am going. Because <laughs> um, part of the um, this wasn't one of my initial New Year's resolutions, but it's something that I've sort of thought about and have decided upon since. And it's just because of the way my January is kind of shaped up. Um, is that I decided I want to make more of an effort to support independent creators and independent art, independent artists um, because I myself fall into into those categories. Um, I think it's important that if I'm looking for support um, and looking for for help for getting my own career going, that I need to be willing to do the the same for for other artists and other creators out there because you know it's it's tough going being independent um, and the more that we can kind of form together and kind of be a community then then the better and do you know what the play I watched last night it was yeah it was an experience I'm so glad that I went um, it's one of those things that's going to sort of stay with me for a while and I'm I'm not going to forget um, just because it was it was powerfully done it was impactful in their, in their approach to it um so yeah I'm, I'm you know glad that my first <laughs> I wouldn't say my first I'm, I'm, I'm always supportive of Jade as you guys know I do a lot of stuff for Jade um I'm always name dropping her and everything um but yeah no I it, it for my first sort of major thing to have done this year in in regards to taking those steps of trying to support more independent uh, work and more independent um, projects and, and, and stuff like that to sort of go in and see a piece of independent uh, theatre that was, you know, really good and, and, and really powerful. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's one of those things that, that does matter and it, it is important and, you know, it, it's uh, made me kind of glad that I've decided this is something I want to try to do this year. Um, so fingers crossed, the rest of it is as successful. <laughs> it's as successful. <laughs> there we go. There are words there. Um, all right, okay, so I, I can round this up again properly now because I, I now put in the bit that I was about to forget. Even though I only had the last night. Never mind. Who, who thinks I remember? Um, so yeah, I, I would say my January 2020 has certainly been an interesting one. Um, there's certainly been a lot of lot going on <laughs> um so it, it in in the one hand it does definitely feel like it has been an entire month but at the same time it's just like wow it's it's been an entire month we are one month into 2020 and you know there there is still so much that can kind of happen this year and i have no idea where things are going to go from here and that's exciting and terrifying at the same time um but yeah, I think it's been a it's been a fairly decent month. I apologise for recapping a lot of the stuff that you were new to begin with, um, and then kind of going into branching off into other things afterwards. Obviously, my head is going to prioritise what my head is going to prioritise. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. 
Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, I hope you found it sort of like a fun kind of, um, okay, this is what my month has been like. I wonder what you guys, you know, feel free to post comments down below um, or however the comments appear for whatever you are streaming this on um, for how your January has been. What, what has been the start of 2020? What has the start of 2020 been like for you? I think that'd be a good topic of discussion for people. Um, I know pretty much nobody's watching this. <laughs> I don't get a whole lot of views. I never get comments or very rarely get comments and 90% of the time they are spam comments so they don't actually appear on my thing because I put them off. Um, no, no spam please, don't, don't spam me. <laughs> like I can stop that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I'd be interested to see, you know, what everybody else's January 2020 has been like. Um, has it been a good start to the year? Has it been a bad start to, to the year? Has it been, like for me, a busy start to the year? Has it been a quiet start to the year? I mean, you know, I'm, you know, it's, you know, it's going to be different for, for different people. And I'm, I'm curious to see how it has been for, for people and, or if my experience is, just me being a crazy person with far too much going on and everyone else had a perfectly ordinary quiet January exactly as they have expected it to be. <laughs> All right, okay. I will stop rabbiting like a mad person now. Um, I hope again you have enjoyed this one and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, Feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!